Jojo has fun. Welcome back to Jojo has fun. We're playing Yoshi's Island. Yeah, it's his peninsula. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you want to go ride on Yoshi's Peninsula? Wow. Ew. <laughs> wow. Ew. Somebody out there like right, that. What's the difference between a peninsula and an isthmus? Um, One of them is harder for someone with this lisp to say. All right. <laughs> peninsula is surrounded by water on three sides. God dang. Yeah, three sides. What if the peninsula is like super rounded though? Is it really a side no, that I doesn't have hard? An, an isthmus is like a thin strip of land that connects two larger bodies, and a peninsula is a strip of land that doesn't. It so just you're goes about, out of the water. You're talking about Death Stranding, the game about strands that connect all of us. No yes. one. Uh, is anyone excited for that? And if so, is why? It it's not out yet. No. It's not out yet. No, no, you can pre-order it. I am excited to make memes from it. That is what I am looking forward to. I, that game, it, it it better be the greatest game ever. It's well. So here's the thing, and it just is very telling about what Kojima actually wants to do. Is that he announced that there is a very, very, very easy mode in the game. If you just want to like not play and only watch the actors do their thing. Oh. So it's a game that it seems that the gameplay part of it is not the primary thing that well, he was focused on. Well, one of the things on. they showed in gameplay was, um, Yo-pee. he he got a ladder. Yeah. And. Which, I mean, not a lot oh, of games... Yeah, that can, like, go, like... Yeah. I can throw it. And I was like, okay, who cares? In all, in all, in, in complete respect to Kojima, I can't think of a lot of other games where I've used a ladder. No. Or I've had a ladder to do anything with. So, you know what? Maybe it's something we've been missing. He's a groundbreaker. He is a groundbreaker. Breaking he those grounds broke with it. ladders. Yeah, he broke the ground. He climbed down inside with the ladder. an album? Yeah. Uh, like a music album? Yeah. Probably. They usually do that with his games, though. Like I have a actual like vinyl of Metal Gear Solid Three somewhere around is, here. Is uh, is the album canon? What do you mean the album canon? Like does the stuff that happened in the album matter to the story? Um, oh, you say album. You're talking about. You're talking about music album. Yeah, is it canon? I, what, I, I'm I'm confused about what you mean by is the album canon. What I'm trying to say it's is it's music the, that's in the game. The, How- yeah. So is the lore of the game in the album canon? I'm not aware of what the album consists of, so I can't answer that question. Is it Kojima? Because if so, it probably contains, like, the clue to everything. Yeah, you have to <laughs> take uh, the barcode off the back of it and scan it into the game. The, the whole game is about strands. Yeah. It's, oh, about, it's about forming can... strands yeah. between people. It's about spaghetti. Strands are weak. And pathetic. Oh wow! And uh, do you are you against Death Stranding due to your opinion of strands in general? Uh, I am anti-strand. Yes, <laughs> I, I've always knew you were anti-strand. Anti-strand I'm always, and I've, pro-string. I yes, thank you, Danielle. <laughs> yeah. I'm pro-string, anti-strand. I'm a strand hardliner. I just don't believe. <laughs> I don't negotiate with strands. I don't, I don't want my children going to school with strands. I don't actually strings only. <laughs> I don't think the game is going to be good, fun to play. <laughs> yeah, I don't fun. either. Looking at it, I'm just like, we've done this. Well, it seems to be, and again, I, we don't we don't see a lot of it. So, I mean, and Kojima, there are, I like things he does on occasion. Um, I, it seems that you walk around, you deliver things, you have a ladder, you can pee, the end. <laughs> you can pee. You yeah, can. you can pee. I'm you like, go- what a weird mechanic well, to include. And there's also a baby and invisible monsters yeah. you can't see, which makes them way cheaper to animate. Oh, yeah. I mean, the whole thing about the... the, the I thought it was an interesting concept when they first were talking about it because it was like, you can't really die in the game. Like, if you die, the game doesn't end. There's no game over. You just get sent to, like, the upside down, pretty much. And I was like, that's a cool mechanic. Is it? I mean, like, because then you have to find... like If they can figure out a way to make getting back to they the real world... A little game called Poltergeist. There's a little a game? game called Poltergeist. Yeah. There's a game. There's a game called Poltergeist. Yeah. What? What are you doing? It. You're a ghost. Do you, pol- <gasps> do you poltergeist? Yeah. You're a ghost and you haunt it. We played it for the show. It was what? Like the, one of the very what? first episodes we ever played. I'm sorry, Poltergeist. Yeah. Go look. JoJo has fun. Like the very like one of the very first episodes that's played oh, Poltergeist. Was Kim on there? Now? Yeah. Yes. What the hell? It's I'm like sorry. Episode three of seventeen hundred or wherever we're at now. <laughs> Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Okay, but I do think that like the idea that they're making a game that has just turned into like a visual narrative that you don't even have to play is interesting because that's like that's called a movie. Well, that's like like games and and like visual narrative have been like 
converging more and more and more, and now they're starting to overlap. So I just well, think it's interesting. Well, what's the difference between a game and a visual narrative? So a visual narrative is more flexible. Like it could be a movie, it could be an animated short. It's just some kind of narrative that's presented visually. Okay. And so video games. And what's oh? How is a video game already not that? It's not, not that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was so like, how my, can I? <laughs> my mind. <laughs> my mind. <laughs> my, mind's my, being, mind. <laughs> my mind's being blown. <laughs> So like it can be. <laughs> I love that. My mind <laughs> got mind freaked. When it, it has narrative elements too, but it also has like gameplay mechanics, and now it's like just in turn of which. Oh God! Which is given priority? Like, is the is the visual narrative part given priority, or is the game mechanic given priority? And more and more, it's well. Like, what, do you, what what does priority mean? Like what's like <laughs> objection? <laughs> what does priority mean? Hold it! <laughs> Hold it! Okay, so like with Yoshi's Island, right? Right. There's not a lot of narrative. There's some, but it's mostly about like platforming and playing, right? Sure. So yeah, but then if you go to Death Stranding, where you can just completely passively watch it, like that's taking it to an extreme that video games have been approaching, but not quite made yet. And well, I just. I'm fascinated by when. But does okay. So I will agree with you to the point that yes, there's a lot more platforming in Yoshi. <laughs> However, I would argue that this this experience of me platforming is the narrative of the game. This is okay. the story of the game. Okay, okay. Is me playing? I need to, I need to pause can, both of you real quick. So, yeah. so what? Okay, Jeff. By all means, let's hear from the guy who didn't even finish community college. Hey, I finished community college. And also, I was going to tell you that you are stupid and wrong. It's not poltergeist. It's Polterguy. (laughs) (laughs) You you played a game called Haunting starring Polterguy. Really? Yeah. Well, it was years ago. I was young. (laughs) I don't remember. Oh, Oh, I burned my little... That killed me? Wow, that killed all of you. Wow! Okay, see, that's a little story we had. Yeah, so like video games have their own kind of unique narrative. It's called a Ludo narrative. Ooh, it's I don't know. The narrative of playing a game. It's I the like story that. you So anytime there's a game, if there's a story of the experience of playing that game. Sure, yeah. So if you if I was to watch a soccer match, then there would be a story present in that soccer match that's because so, the game was played. I guess another way of saying what I'm thinking is that like video games have had a, their own distinct form of narrative. Okay. And it's converging now more with our like conventional visual narratives. Uh-huh. Which is interesting to me because it's kind of two genres starting to overlap and I'm just really fascinated with where they could go with this. Like cuz interactive movies and TV shows is already a thing and I think it's going to continue to be a bigger thing. Like with the um the one with Bear Bear Grylls. Uh you- oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk to him this part because I only completed junior college. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for understanding. People get people don't like it when Man. you when you rip on me about that. By the way, really? Good. Yeah. Good. Get it. They think it's very mean of you. <laughs> At him. At him hard. Who who is who said? Uh, there was a few people. I forget. Oh, there was an episode where you were like, you were making I was jokes on you for that. You were joking about my lack of uh, being having a useless PhD. <laughs> <And> <laughs> yeah, I'm no, I'm just, I'm, the, I'm equally useless. I'm just on the other side of the spectrum. And I forget who away, but there was a few people who were just like, JoJo's mean. <laughs> yeah. Go oh God! Twitter, give Joe the business. I, I mean, no. Give me I don't want to give him the business. You don't have to. Come on, Jeff. Give me some of that. I don't want to. You know, I'm saving it for later. Give me that sweet biz. No, I only have so much left. Oh, no. Don't take his biz. Don't take my biz. I want all that biz. I want that sweet biz. But anyways, Death Stranding is going to be game of the year. Just FYI. I don't see that as possible. It's going to get awards for visuals. Yeah. And and here's the thing. A game getting an award for a visual that uses complete and like like until dawn, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, those games look good. Like we played Man, Man of Medan, we we're like, this looks good. This but the technology game. they use to actually do like the face capture and motion Not capture, great. it's it's. I mean, they're using like all of the technology that exists that we use for everything. But 
it's literally just capturing their facial animation. And yeah. that's the thing too is like now that video games are using actual actors like uh, you know like uh, Sean Ashmore. Sean Ashmore, our <laughs> Sean Ashmore, Sean friend Ashmore. of the show, friend of the show, Sean Ashmore, <laughs> and uh, friend of friend of zombies, the the, the hillbilly guy when Death Stranding. What's his name? Uh, Norman Reedus. Yeah, Norman Reedus. I mean, so, like, the fact that you have actors who are not just voicing it, but are actually, like, motion captured. It looks like them. Oh, and, and uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah. yeah. He's also in it. And Guillermo del Toro. And yeah, so- he's not playing himself, though. No. But like, He's not even directing to- it. He's just, like, in it. No, his, his body and face are in it, but it's not even his voice in it. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, that is super weird. There's another guy, like, something. It's like a friend of, of Kojima's is in it. And he's not voice acting himself either. Someone else is doing it, but it's his body and face. Maybe That's they're very just bad strange. voice actors. Yeah, I mean, they're not professional voice actors or actors. Like, this guy in particular. Also, freaking, what's his name from, uh, used to be at GameSpot, who does the video game award show oh. that Kojima's really good friends with. Um, he's in the game, but again, it's not him voicing it because he's... It, guys, and here's the thing. You you hear... You, we're, good, we're great voice actors. Oh, <laughs> All fantastic. of us. Right? Yes. Voice acting... It, as a job is not a thing that people can just do. We make Matt Mercer quiver in his in his in his D and D booties. Yeah, that's right. He does, I I have We're seen Matt, you, Matt Mercer, Mercer quiver. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty great. But like, yeah, it's it's very hard to be a good voice actor. Also, oh. we're not good voice actors. Please no, know that I was terrible. joking about that. <laughs> no, I have no clue. I don't think that we you. actually do that. <laughs> yeah, but like people who actually do voice acting, because there's always like the people that are like, voice acting's easy. You just sit there and talk into a microphone. It's like, oh yeah, do it. Go uh, yeah. 1,700 times. It's so like, and I remember, we were, what were we playing? We were playing uh, Monster Prom. Yeah. And I was doing a voice for Wolfman, Wolfram Alpha. Yeah. And um, Wolfman Alpha. Yeah. I and, love that game. And just the little bit that, because like I made his voice more like bombastic, that little bit it was exhausting. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I was physically moving around. <laughs> and yeah. you would have to do that for like for six hours. hours a day. Yeah. For like several weeks. It's real and and you have to deliver a great performance yeah. every time. It's exhausting. Yeah. It's like being the lead singer for a band because your voice is just shot. Yeah. I mean, look at look at guy who was in Game of Thrones and used to be the destiny thinger. Uh Daniel, you're giving me a. You, whenever you're referring to a thing, it sucks you don't know the names because you're you know, using very you're esoteric thing, ways. You're singing Destiny. Oh, Peter Dinklage. Yes, thank you. Peter Dinkles? Yeah, yeah, he was like, in. He, he he was Ghost. Yeah, he was Ghost initially, but even though he's a great actor, he did such a bad yeah. voice performance. He was so bad at voice acting it. I and, remember, and then they replaced him with uh, with Nolan North, I think. I, yep, yeah, North. that's right. Yep. By someone who is not uh, remotely was well known as Peter Dinklage but, but was a better voice yeah. actor because that's his job yeah exactly he's an actual professional voice actor yeah just like our job is to watch Jojo die at this game we're yep. better at it than a lot of people oh no see what I say nailing <laughs> it if you do yeah, if Peter you. Dinklage was playing this <laughs> you wouldn't be giving him this much sass yeah if Peter Dinklage was playing this we get more than 14 views on this video untrue oh, <laughs> Watch, I hope we get 14 views on this video now. I'll be thrilled. Please, I want guys, more than that, but... Please. Just 14. All All right. Right. Oh, 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 he's embarrassed. Oh. He farted. Oh, there goes Pew. the gas. Good for Pew. us. All right. Well, how many more time do we have in this episode? That's, that's this episode. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mario's posing. Yeah. Yeah, what a poser. He's giving the V for victory. We'll play, Mar- one, more. We'll play one more of these. Mario's little Winston Churchill. Farewell, everybody. <laughs> Mario, secret Winston Churchill question mark, question mark? <laughs>